rumors were true and Will Osprey was joining WWE, we will find out today. We are going to be doing a sandbox mode. However, we will edit the shows and we will be, I guess you could say, role playing as Will Osprey. So basically, how this is going to work, I've already done this as like a test run with MJF. Um. We're going to start on NXT. We're going to win the North American Championship and the NXT Championship. I don't know if we're going to do a tag championship. We'll see if we get around to it. But then we are going to go either to Raw or SmackDown. We're going to win the mid-card We are going to win the mid-card title on one show and then we win the mid-card title on the other show. So say we go to Raw, we'll win the United States Championship and we go to SmackDown, we'll get the Intercontinental Championship. But, once we finish that, we'll go on to SmackDown, or Raw. Basically, whichever one we end off with. So, say we end up winning the Intercontinental Championship last, then we'll go on to SmackDown, and we'll win the Universal Championship. We don't know if Roman's going to be holding that when we get it, but we'll see. And then, once we get to Monday Night Raw, we go to the, get the other, the other championship. And then we'll see how long it goes from there. And then we we'll, might do another superstar. But we will start off in NXT as Will Ospreay. We have to add him to NXT. And the reason I'm not doing a superstar mode is because it's just easier to control right here. Like switching shows and just shows what championship you go after. We are going to add us to the North American Championship Division. Also, I will add that we will be adding NXT pay-per-views because, like, we have In Your House, obviously. But other than that, we have, um, like, we have Great American Bash, and then we have a stretch with no pay-per-views. So I'm going to be adding pay-per-views, like, every month, probably. Except for this one, we're we'll add this after. And, yeah, we'll see. Once we get to Raw and SmackDown, it doesn't do, like, automatic rivalries most of the time, so we'll do figure that out. But for NXT, looks like we're going to be in a rivalry with Wes Lee already going for the NXT Championship. So what are we going to do with rivalries? Because I don't want to get stale playing the same person every week. We are going to be doing... I will play one match, most likely the first match, and then we'll go to the pay-per-view. And then I'll play the pay-per-view match. Just so it doesn't get like... Doesn't get, um... Or most of what I'm thinking of. Stale. Stale. And yeah, so we're going to be doing this Wesley rivalry. Maybe, now I think, we're, now I think about it, we might get the NXT Championship within, or North American Championship within not too long. This is my first time actually using Will Ospreay. I haven't used this creative character. I should have skipped the cutscene, but... Alright, let me, let me explore this moveset. I'm sure he's a lot more athletic than MJF was. I'm still doing that MJF one on my own. Like the same thing we're doing here. And, um, oh my god, that was my move? Jesus Christ. No, nothing, nothing, nothing. And I've won the United States Championship. I've won, like, like I've moved on the main roster. And, yeah, I mean, like, yeah. Also, SummerSlam, Saturday. I don't know when this will be out. Today's Wednesday, August 2nd. Um, I'm going to be doing my predictions, and then I'm going to be doing a simulation on this. Once, and I just want to say that my, um, what's it called? My predictions do not reflect, um, who I want to win. That's only for two of the matches, and you'll see. What the hell? Right, by the way, this is on just to prove it. This is on Legend Difficulty. And yeah, so what I might try to do is I maybe try to become like the lo have the longest combined days out of anyone with each championship that I win. Or I might just win every championship. We'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Oh, I have my... Um, signature. Isn't that like the... 
I said the cyclone kick, and the butterfly left twisting cutter is basically just the uh, stormbreaker, which is his real life finisher. And I also have a Cody cutter as a signature, which I guess makes sense. And they're not gonna have all of his exact moves because he's not in WWE. Easy kick out right there. I should have moved out the way. Also, on this Wednesday, I'm watching Dynamite as I record this. Rob Van Dam, AEW, kind of crazy. I'm going to try to roll up here. Yeah, no. I probably should have just saved that for my signature. that move quick little moonsault springboard come on oh you're fucking reversed it. got the cody cutter boom we hit it we hit it we hit it pick him up going for the storm breaker We hit it. Come on. One, two. Oh. Hey, what? Ooh, MJF's coming out. So if you hear that in the background. All right. So one more finisher. He should be done, but he reverses that one. Hit him with the stunner again. We're gonna pick him up. One, two, three, four. Tack him on the ground a little bit or not. That's cool too. Um, what's he thinking here? This is that. Okay, I'm really not good at the comeback move. Let's see here. Oh, he's going for the finisher. Let's go. Easy reversal. Not easy, but whatever. Son of a... Another reversal. Oh, I couldn't reverse that. Come on, buddy. You gotta be better than that. Come on, this should end it. This should end it. Come on. One, two, three. We pick up our win in our debut with Will Ospreay. Here's your winner. Here's your winner. Will Ospreay. Quick little 800 credits. Um, what time are we at? Eight minutes. All right, so I'm going to go to the pay-per-view, which is in your house. And it will be for the North American Championship. So we'll see you next episode for that. I feel like I can't do it this episode. So yeah.